At some point in your life, you may find yourself here at court dealing with a family matter. It could have to do with a divorce or a separation, a child custody negotiation. More and more Canadians are finding themselves in these courtrooms and right there in front of a judge, but without a lawyer to represent them. What we hear from, from family court is that um, well over half of parties in, in family court matters uh, of litigants represent themselves. Commonly, we see clients who can't afford to hire a lawyer and are choosing to self-represent in a court situation, which is very, very challenging. There are several reasons why it's gotten to this point, and affordability is a big one. People can't afford gas, rent, groceries, basic necessities, so lawyers are out of reach. According to Legal Info Nova Scotia, hourly rates for lawyers range from $150 to $500 per hour. So more Atlantic Canadians are relying on things like legal aid to get representation. But... Some people may even be discouraged to apply for legal aid thinking, well, there's, uh, it's going to take too long. Uh, so they don't even call. But yes, they are very swamped uh, from what I've heard. Wh whether you're an HRM in, in the Halifax Dartmouth or you're in the more rural communities, you're always going to have to wait a good couple of months. So even if people can afford it, access overall to lawyers across Atlantic Canada is tight. Take this report from 2013 by the Action Committee on Access to Justice in Civil and Family Matters. It noted serious concerns around access. Now, fast forward to 2020, former Chief Justice of Canada Beverly McLaughlin said access to justice in civil and family matters was then at a crisis in Canada. To make matters even worse, there are factors outside of a client's control, even if they have the money and can afford a family lawyer. We certainly have clients who have the means to hire a lawyer and they have to go off island to find a lawyer who can address their needs. It just adds a layer of complexity and cost and travel expense and um, extra confusion and stress in, in a moment in people's lives it's already confusing, expensive, time-consuming and stressful. People living in rural areas of Atlantic Canada are having a harder time finding lawyers to take them on. And as cities get bigger, so do the law firms. And when law firms get bigger, that means conflict of interest becomes much more common. So there's a push towards larger law firms, but that means that it's the law firm that's conflicted. If I represent um, a parent, in a matter, then that means that the opposing side is conflicted out from the entire office. So it's much more likely you're going to have to hire a lawyer from somewhere else, which circles back to problems around access and affordability. Well, in New Brunswick, those problems are obvious. Family lawyers are backed up. All of the family lawyers are just up to capacity. They're swamped. You know, many of them are actually over, they're doing their best. What they're saying to people is not you know, I don't care, or this isn't worth it financially, or whatever, a lot of what they're saying is we do not have time, we do not have the staffing to be able to serve you and advance your case in a timely way. That's leading people to represent themselves in court, which is hard on everyone in the system. So what's the answer? Well, experts say that legal aid in the Atlantic provinces needs more resources, it needs more lawyers, and the provinces need to open up who qualifies for legal aid. They also need to hire more judges to make sure that court backlogs can be cut down. And in a world where more people are self-representing here in court, to have legal education available so people who go it alone don't feel like they're in the dark. Cody McKay, CBC News, Charlottetown.